hi guys welcome back to my youtube family it's esther here i am back again with another wowza for you today i'm going to be showing you how i cook sadza sadza is a traditional food for zimbabwe that we use to accompany many different stews and uh, this is a kid friendly version where you don't have to be pouring hot water into a pot so i'm just going to be putting um four cups of water in my pot for four people and then uh, after and you know put it on the stove and boil it so our water is boiling so I'm going to be mixing one cup of uh, the cornmeal this is how it looks like with one cup of water in a um, bowl here with our sadza wooden spoon you can go to any African store or market and you know try to look for a wooden spoon so we're just going to mix it like this and it's all mixed up well and then we're just going to be putting it in our sadza pot so we're adding it onto the boiling water here And then you're just going to stir and continue stirring until it starts to bubble. So just continue stirring and you can tell it's already thickening up like a porridge. That's what we want. There are no lumps or anything in there. So our mixture has started bubbling, it's like a volcano erupting. We're just going to close the pot with our lid and let it uh, you know, continue bubbling like this uh, for about 10 minutes. We want our sada to be cooked well, uh, we don't want boza in the kitchen. So it's been 10 minutes and I'm going to uh, carefully remove my lid from the sada pot and uh, start putting in my cornmeal we also call it milly meal into the pot a little bit at a time another way of doing it is doing it like this but here we are doing a kid friendly version so we're doing it this way and our stove is at the medium heat setting so that it's not um, Fluttering too much. I'm just going to add a little bit. So the consistency of sadza depends on your liking. In this house, we like it a little bit uh, on the soft side, so we're not going to make it too thick. And also, as it simmers in the pot after you're done cooking it, it continues to thicken. So what you're doing is just, you know, going around the pot and grabbing the sides and then pressing it against the pot whilst you're firmly holding onto your pot here, handle. So you can tell it's thickening as I am uh, doing this right now. So this is going to be perfect for us. We're not going to add any more. So all I did was add one, one and uh, two thirds of a cup of the cornmeal into the pot. can 
tell there are no lumps in there at all. That's what we are trying to achieve. And we are holding on to our stick, you know. Four fingers here, your thumb there. If it is your first pot of sadza, you want to have the ingredients, okay? To make it easier for you and then you gradually increase the amount as you get more proficient in it. Cooking sadza is an art and a beautiful art for that. So we are done stirring for now. We're going to cover our pot reduce our, uh, our heat slightly so that it doesn't burn at the bottom and let it simmer for about uh, three minutes come back and stay again so it's been three minutes and I'm going to do the same process again mix it together whilst I'm pressing on the pot for about 30 seconds and then now I'm going to close it up and let it simmer get to know each other for a good 10 minutes and our sata will be ready all right so it's been 10 minutes our sata simmering we're just going to stay it one more time before we serve it onto our plate one way to tell that it's nice and done, look at how shiny it is. It's supposed to be nice and shiny and uh, all compact together like this, not separate grains, you know. Then you would have cooked mboza. Other way, can cook sadza. Okay, so we're just going to dish it out and we're going to be using our dishing uh, spoon here. We call it a uh, wabu in Shona. Can you tell me below what it is called in the name or other languages? Can you nicely shape it and then add your relish, you know, onto the plate? And we love to eat it with the uh, vegetables. Here that I've cooked, and then we'll also add on some meat if you want to add with eat with meat. But this is perfect just like this. All right, family, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Come back again for another video. Bon appetit! Love you. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Bye. My daughter was like, Mommy, you called it relish, and I told her, Yeah, we call it relish in Zimbabwe. It's not, you know, your hot dog type of relish. All right, guys. Bye. T tell me below in the comments when you cooked your sadza how it turned out.